Hello everyone, and this is Ryan O'Neill with Crash Bike's first Game Maker 8 tutorial. Today, we'll be showing you how to make a basic platformer tutorial. Basically, what a platformer is is where, well, I mean, I'm not going to explain what a platformer game is, but I'll explain to you what we're going to make. We're going to make our character move left and right. We're going to give it gravity so that it can move along a platform without having to fall through and fall off the face of the earth. And we're also going to make him jump. So what we need to do to get started is we're going to make our player sprite, platform sprite, and our backgrounds. So we come into this little red Pac-Man thing, and well, we don't hit it twice; we only hit it once. And then, since we don't have any sprites to mess around with today, we're just going to go and edit sprite, file, create no new. I mean, we, you can make it whatever size you want. I'm just going to go 32 by 32, and hit OK. And then you'll notice this red pin up here, and so you just, or red and blue pin, I guess you should say. Click on that, and then you can choose whatever color you want. Today we're just going to be choosing red. And then on the tab side, you'll notice a paint bucket. Click on that, and then just right click in that little square. And then hit check. Check, and rename this SPR underscore player. And hit OK. And now I guess it was kind of a good thing that we accidentally clicked it twice apparently. So we're going to go to edit, create a new sprite, but this time we're going to make it 640 because that's how big our room is. And hit OK, edit, and we're going to make this black. And then we are going to name this SPR Platform. And hit OK. Next, we're going to make our background. We're going to call this back underscore main. Hit edit background. And we're going to make this green. And just hit OK. And then hit that. And now comes the fun part where we have to program our character. And so, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into there. Or this little blue ball. That's where you create your objects, if you didn't know that. Hit SPR player and rename this obj underscore player and we're going to come into or well, we're going to start making him move left and right so we're going to go to the keyboard left and we're going to come to con this control tab and hit check if empty and we're going to make this negative five now left will always be negative no matter what hit ok and then come up into the move tab and go to jump, and it'll be this first one with an arrow and two X's. Drag that in there and make this negative five, as we did for the check if empty, and click relative. And now let's see what this looks like. We will make our platform object in just a little. But for right now, let's add in our background <coughs> and our object player. And now let's see what this looks like. So your character can move left. And now what you can do is, this is a fairly easy part, you just right click, duplicate event, come to the keyboard, right, and then change those numbers to positive. You don't need to change anything else, just change those two numbers. <clears throat> now you have your character moving left and right. And now let's see what we can do. We can, well yes, we need to make the uh, the platform, so come into there and name this OBJ platform and make this, this solid because our character must be able to go on it. And then we're gonna make a collision <coughs> with this platform and then you need to make it so that the vertical speed equals zero and that the move to contact equals 270 because what our gravity will be and hit one <coughs> and make that now what we can do is we can add in our platform and then we can come into player and we're going to give him gravity now so you go to add event step and step and now go to control again and then you go to check if empty and then you come to zero, one, and relative. 
and then you go into move tab and you go to gravity again and you go to 270 and then you make this 0 0.5 and then you add an else event which is in control and then you add another gravity which is 270 and then you add another else and then what you have to do now is you have to check to see if your v-speed will be larger than 12 v-speed 12 larger than and then you go and put them here and you go to vertical speed and then you go 12 and then you hit ok and that's what should work and as you can see your character fell due to gravity and now he can move on this platform and now for the basic part of this <coughs> you we're gonna make him jump so basically you can add an up event which is just an up or you can go in the space we're gonna do an up event because that will just be easier for us and then what you have to do first is you set a collision to zero and then one and then check to see if it's relative <coughs> and then you can make however high you want to make him jump so we're just going to go negative five and we'll see if that works and now let's check this out okay well looks like I added the wrong event so we're just going to delete that and then oh yes I'm pretty sure it's that one yes yes it is <coughs> and then your character should be able to jump now there you go I mean, he doesn't jump that high but if we really wanted to we can change how high he goes so let's make it like negative twelve as you can see he jumps a lot higher and he can move while jumping <coughs> so there you have it and that was your basic moving tutorial with jumping and if you were interested please go check out our site or our profile on yoyogames.com we are located on our crash bike and if you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and we'll hope to give you another video